What up? So I, my name is Mac Alay. I am the Vietnamese, and I like to make the joke, make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Sorry, that was Asian half of me. Um, or 100% of me. Um, so, hope you guys are enjoying the night. How was that last act? What do you think, yeah? yeah. Cool. Um, my mom, she, she can't pronounce the word guitar, so instead she would say something more like, oh, well, I, okay, so one time we were unpacking my sister for her dorm, right, and my, my sister left her guitar in the car. My mom goes and grabs it, and she's like, Debra, you want your Rita? I was like, oh, mom, it's guitar. Rita? I was like, oh, that does not sound, no. <laughs> and so, and so, yeah, so my sister doesn't play guitar anymore. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm Vietnamese, so my parents are um, from Vietnam. They were born, they came over here uh, after the war. Um, so I'm a first generation Vietnamese American. Fun thing about being, oh, thank you, thank you. Fun thing about being a child of an immigrant uh, in the United States is uh, you <laughs> get to teach your parents how to cuss. <laughs> yeah? So, um, so one day my dad just comes home and he's, he's just like, Becca, what does curry your own ash mean? And I was like, by the time I figured out what he was trying to say is his boss was, or former boss I should say, was uh, cursing him out. And I was like, oh, what the hell? This is not gonna happen. My dad, this fool ain't gonna cuss out my dad, okay? So, so I figured I would do something here. I, I wanna teach you guys how to curse in Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. Party trick happens and works every time, party trick. All right, so, so I, <laughs> forgive me. That's such the great way to say forgive me because I, I actually don't curse at home. My dad's actually a pastor, so I, I can't say, well, I can, but it's, it's really hard for me to say curse word, right? So I guess I, I need the help of you to translate what I'm trying to say from my um, curse words to, you know, the real lingo. So I'm going to teach you guys how to say the F-bomb. And then I'm going to teach you how to say F-U woman or there you go thank you all right all right so here we go okay so this is how you say hi my name in vietnamese all right let me know if the camera can see this So this is how my this is how I taught my dad how to curse, right? So this word here is actually a man's name in Vietnamese. So his name is Phop is how you pronounce it, right? Yep. Bit is how you pronounce these last letters here, and uh, that's actually the name of a Vietnamese woman. So wh so what does this word do you think? What does that mean? Eu, y e u, actually means love. Aww. Yeah, right. It's cute. Yeah. So you put it all together, and it's like. <laughs> so I was like, Dad, Dad. Next time this guy goes up to you and says, "Cover your own ass." Ooh. He said it. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you go up to him and tell him that cousin Foop loves cousin bitch. A uh, bit. <laughs> and so here in my head, I have it all playing out where my dad just goes back to work and he goes, Hey! Both of you, bitch! <laughs> but no, at last it doesn't happen. He uh, actually left that company and started his own. So there we go. Yay! All right, so that's, that's all for my whiteboard here. I'll, I'll leave that there. <laughs> picture, picture moment. So in addition to being Vietnamese, um, I'm actually bipolar, and I, thanks, oh, mm. so uh, I, don't, I don't just say that because I have a hot head and cold feet, but 
I was actually diagnosed with bipolar back in uh, ooh, 2006, when I was 18 years old. Tells you how young I am, right? Um, fun thing about being bipolar, though, is sometimes you'll have those weird moments where you just kind of lapse into an episode. Happened recently, actually, earlier last year. Um, and you get to go into like these really, I think they're cool, mental institutes, right? Yeah. And being in a mental institute is kind of like being in jail, you know? You sit down next to somebody once you're kind of somewhat sane, and you're like, so what are you in for, yeah? <laughs> so I swear to God, one day I, I walked up to this guy, and, and he's just sitting there by himself staring at the wall, and I was like, dude, so what are you in for? And he goes, I OD'd on Adderall. I was like, oh wow, okay, so good thing here, like, let's, let's welcome this guy into this mental hospital, I know it's not the funnest place to be, but I figured I would, you know, help him out, so instead I just gathered all the other patients, and then we just started having staring contests with him. <laughs> he won. <laughs> and then I got discharged, so. <laughs> Worked out for me. All right, let's see what else I got. Pretty much it. So, <laughs> I figured it's time that I just pay back my dues to society and I should actually pay back my dues to this open stage. Um, where do I pay my $10? Awesome. Thank you guys. You've been lovely. This is my first time, so hope I did okay. Yeah.